Welcome to Mams Talk, where Mams Talk Survivor. I'm Kay. I'm ready for the eclipse. Um, it's merge time, so we're here to check in. <laughs> the tribes are eclipsing right now. Oh my god! Wow. And <laughs> is, it Mer- is it Mercury in retrograde? Yeah. It oh, it is. It is. <laughs> Which is why it was, we've had some of these pretty devastating uh, vote offs. Um, but yeah. we will get into that. But first, I want to introduce everyone who's here. Um. I have Frankie. How are we doing? How are you liking the season so far? I mean, we'll we'll get into it, but my team is uh <laughs> it could be better, but uh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think so far it's been um been interesting. It's kind of been exactly what I've expected just from a a production standpoint. So yes, um and Jess, you are not in your usual spot, but uh, thank you for being here today with a lovely lamp yes. behind you. Yes, I'm joining remotely with my um, my grandmother's lamp <laughs> 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 from uh, from the path of totality today. Yeah, what are your thoughts on the season so far? Um, I am enjoying it. I am, honestly, I'm enjoying the the villainous personalities that we have happening. Um, I know that a lot of people are finding the cast of characters quite unlikable, but I am here for it personally. Yeah. And your team is fully intact. Yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm so great about my team, to be honest. I'm better than I could have ever hoped, really. And another person whose team is fully intact is Zach. How are you? How are you feeling about season 46 of Survivor? I'm doing great. You know, I'm not here to win a million dollars. I'm here to win a million hearts. And Mm. that is what I think I've done. You know, my team's fully intact. And I think, (laughs) honestly, they're they're all looking pretty good going into the rest of the game. So I think think we're going to do it. (laughs) Yeah. So we're going to talk about everything that's happened. Pre-merge, analyze our teams, um, some that are a little more um, sad than others. But... um, We're going to push on. So let's take a look at where we're at as foretold. Frankie and uh, myself are are in a little bit of a little bit of hot water team. The team hot people is slowly deteriorating. Of course, my team, uh, Gem and Jeff, but Venus is still there. Tevin's still there. Queen. Uh, Frankie, how are you feeling with just soda left? Um, I feel like if it was anybody that I'd want to have left on the team, I think I'd want it to be her, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I mean, obviously, you know, Rin and it was like the medical evac, so that's like not much, like, you know, kind of like not much you can do about that whole thing. Um, yeah. I think I clearly have, um, an ability to suss things out but I just wasn't sussing the right thing out <laughs> when I was picking teams like I I felt very strongly but it wasn't like the right it wasn't good strong it was like this strong so you know it only takes one to win so it's it sure so true <laughs> you know no, we cannot give up um Zach Jess what do you think is the reason for your success here um psychic abilities Mm. um (laughs) anything to do with the eclipse uh yeah i think the eclipse power is like radiating through me at the moment so like the whole season has been leading up to this moment where we meet about the merge the week of the eclipse um (laughs) no i don't know i honestly really didn't think like i said when we've drafted i'm not really good at this kind of thing i'm bad at reading people generally like in life um and also on tv but I feel like I actually picked really good people. Like even like not only are they all here, but I feel like they all are like key players in the season so far. Yeah, that's a strong group, Jess. Hunter, yeah. Charlie, Tiffany, Maria, even Tim. Like even Tim's doing yeah. something. I thought he was gonna be yeah. like, let's get this guy out right away. But yeah, you know, second to last pick is still holding strong. Yeah. And Tim was like my like I picked between Tim and Banu and I was like man you know who knows like could go either way but like man am I glad I picked him (laughs) so (laughs) right and Zach you have a pretty strong team too 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I got very nervous there for a while with how Purple was doing. I was yeah. like, I'm losing someone, but somehow out of the people on Purple, I picked the the, the two correct ones. Um, yeah. And, yeah. And honestly, after this first, I was a little scared going into the merge, like seeing how they would do. But I think they both did very well in the first merge episode. So I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like I, I'm really liking the season both because of like I think just like just of this earlier like with like just like people being like kind of like sneaky and villainous and like maybe not being the most likable but like it's so much fun to watch and also I feel like I have no clue who's gonna win right now which is so yeah. exciting for like the future of the season I truly could see a path for like everyone yeah I think maybe except for a couple but we'll talk about that so yeah. <laughs> the structure the structure of this is going to be we're gonna go through kind of like each boot um and like quickly like debrief on that and then when we're done we're going to kind of give a player ranking of who's left and we're going to agree on like who maybe has the best chance um who has the least chance all right so with that we'll start off with episode one Jelinski is booted um mm -hmm. what are our thoughts on Jelinski? shocker that <laughs> he left that episode <laughs> like he was yeah. like does not like I mean he came in and he was exactly who he seemed to be in his interview um to me yeah and I think that that totally screwed him in every way possible but like what an iconic first boot I mean yeah the yeah whole sep so several true. seven thing iconic <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of first boots who kind of do give us nothing and he is just like that first episode gave me a lot of hope for this season because like mm -hmm. even the first boot I think he might be the first the best first boot ever I mean like maybe correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong but like he just gave us so much to work with several yeah. seven him like quitting um not only the sweater savvy Everything. but the the card journey thing yeah she's like yeah, yeah no you guys can have it it's fine <laughs> <laughs> i think and he's someone who like became um very aware that he was like on tv like mm. while it was happening and that's why i think that he kind of like back down like i don't know like just the vibe when she was like i'm gonna give you one more chance like mm. are you lying to me and then i think that he just realized that like real life was happening to him and he's like yeah i am i'm lying it's like okay <laughs> yeah cool. well his thought process was like people respect um honesty or whatever which i think in some groups in different seasons that would work with but we have like a very strong minded like really um bold group here and i don't think they respected that he came back from the journey and said that like he didn't want to like lie or whatever and the whole tribe was like why wouldn't you lie yep. right yeah which was yeah. It really it was an interesting reaction for me but like which, as the season has progressed on i think it's made more sense uh yep. with that especially the yanu group i was gonna say even if he i feel like if he was on siga that would have played they were like oh my gosh that's so great like thank you so much for telling us the truth like mm -hmm. we respect it but it was just the um like it was the exact like right or wrong like group of people that that happened in front of so you know yeah <laughs> rest in peace <laughs> rest in peace we will always R. remember remember uh several mean seven um but this takes <laughs> us to jess she was i mean first of all i'm devastated i love jess so much um but this was just maybe not the game for her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was pretty disappointed in her, her showing on the scene. I mean, I do think that she was like kind of dealing with like a shitty social situation that she was mm -hmm. in. Um, I think the people on her tribe really just like didn't get her and were kind of like being a little mean about it. Um, oh. But oh, I, my gosh. Uh, I'm yeah. thinking about the, that challenge when everyone's screaming at her. I oh would have God. had a mental breakdown. Yeah, especially was, when it was, was like tough. her on one side and like the three of them on the other side. I was like, you gotta, you gotta help her. <laughs> right, like, team she, can't hold this, she can't hold this arch of all by herself. Also, I remember after that happened, there was a tweet that was like, showed that like the arch that tumbled down was fully said Perseans. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. 
Banu, yeah. like that was not she's not the reason y'all lost. Like <laughs> Yeah. She's and, just a classic um, scapegoat. And yeah, yeah. uh Jelinski himself tweeted, he was like, I have a seven foot wingspan. <laughs> when he was like, he would have been perfect for that challenge. Oh he yeah. Been able to like pull everything up. Um but yeah. once again, I, I think that that's where like you kind of realize, especially in these seasons, because like in older seasons, you know, like pre like season like thirty two maybe like pre like pre like kind of newer seasons, it's like someone's quiet and they just kind of stick around until the merge. Like if Jess was on a different season, I think that she would have been around maybe like at least two or three more weeks. Like maybe if they had like a tribe swap or like something, like they could have figured it out. Because I feel mm-hmm. like instead of doing a tribe swap when one 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 tribe was down to three people they just like did emerge basically but i think if she, like she really would have benefited from a, a tribe swap or something mm-hmm. um just to kind of get her around the right people and, and then she would have been fine but it's it kind of shows how much power goes into like setting the tribes up because like mm-hmm. obviously these people like the people who set the tribes like they're talking to these people like four or five or six times and they know what their personalities are like so it's it's very interesting to see that play out when it's like the other tribes are uh like the green tribe is pretty harmonious and like the orange tribe has like all big personalities so very interesting to see like what is transpiring um in that regard yeah it it does just feel like a really special season with that in mind because they don't want to keep around people that are just going to slide by like they we see yeah. that like six player like alliance that's happening of like the strong players which is such like a big brother kind of mentality yeah. um yeah. and it's really interesting to see in this format so like people like jess and like you know mariah banu like they're like you're not like playing the game hard so we don't want yeah. you here <laughs> like right like, even though like, grab a life vest kind of deal literally. you know <laughs> It's like because Banu is like Banu's not winning. Like why? You know what I mean? Like there's no like <laughs> long term strategic reason to be getting rid of Banu. Like yeah. well, I mean, he was gonna, alive. He's gonna win a million hearts, and that is very dangerous <laughs> in the game yes, of Survivor. Of course, he was definitely a liability um for their tribe. But like it's just like the thought process like that, you know? Because they did keep well, losing, so I definitely yeah. understand why they wouldn't want to get rid of somebody else. And it just shows like. I think it just shows like a shift in in like attitude of the game because like I've I've been watching um older seasons and I'm I watched Kao Rong again and it's like especially like those types of seasons it's like a little bit newer but they're like who hasn't done anything in this game like who's bad at challenges that's who I want to bring to the final three like mm-hmm. bringing mm-hmm. someone like Ty to the final three like versus like someone else who's like a strong like like Sydney who's like a stronger player it's like that's not how they would go about it this season it seems Mm -hmm. like they're they're wanting to have like the strongest possible so like everyone has a really good chance of winning almost which is just like you know when um the second chance or maybe not second chance but the Jeremy's second season it's him Spencer and then whoever else and it's 10-0-0 it's like I'm gonna pick the two people who everyone else hates the most and like bring them with me and that's just not like what how people like go about it anymore yeah I think this is like smart for like a lot of the players on this cast because they are like maybe seemingly threats like someone like Q that's a really good strategy because if you're picking off like Mm -hmm. threats I mean even though he thinks Mariah is a threat but we can get into that um yeah like you want to surround yourself with strong people because then people aren't looking at you, right? Because, you know, Tiffany's still here. Kenzie's still here. Uh, mm-hmm. Hunter's still here, you know? Yeah, so that, that yeah. buys Q more time, you know? Yeah, and I think Q is one of the least threatening of the, like, strong players who are left, especially because he, like, I think Q's in a really good spot. Like, per- the Purple Tribe in general is in a really good spot. Um, And he seems to be, like, the one who floats the top in terms of like making relationships outside of that tribe as well yeah but well yes jess is gone i'm particularly very sad about that because i just i just loved her as a personality um and i've enjoyed seeing her on twitter but um she did go too soon so 
RIP to her. Um, episode three, Randon is medically evacuated. It's it so seemed, sad. Yeah. And I don't think that he would have gone anytime soon. No. no, I don't I, think so. I also just think med- medivacs are just like so devastating, especially because for him it like wasn't actually an issue that they would have had to evacuate him for, but they needed to evacuate him for the MRI, yeah. and then it's like it was just a pinch nerve, which is which sucks. Yeah, and that was I mean I was so excited about the possibility of him and Venus working mm-hmm. together. Like that little mm-hmm. duo was like I was like ah, I'm yeah. rooting for them so much. So yeah. for that momentum to just get killed, I was like, damn, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, yeah and Venus because is like fuck. <laughs> yeah, because like he would have been such a good compliment to her throughout the whole thing because it's like clearly I I know we're, we'll talk about how people like people's attitudes towards Venus, but I think like had the rock pick gone the same way and it was like just we'll put Tiffany on the the rock pick with all the girls like and Charlie and then put, you know, Randon on the rock pick with all the boys like the way that he could have like the way that he could have just like spun that whole thing and like blocked like basically blocked Venus been like no like she's smart like we're not even gonna get like we're not even gonna like get into like talking about Venus out like obviously Mariah went anyway but I think it just would have been interesting to see how that would have played out with the whole thing yeah very sad I do I'm I have a question for you all because in Australian Survivor if someone needs to get like checked out and like an MRI or something, they have 24 hours to like leave the game before they can return. I'm curious to know like what your thoughts on that are. Like, do you think that we should adopt more of that? Or is it like once you're off this island, you shouldn't be able to come back? Yeah, it's hard. You've asked me this a few times before and I keep kind of going between because I like agree with the sanctity of like, once you're off the island you're off the island like you know like that's sort of the spirit of survivor but i do think in the same way that like they have fresh water access and they get sunscreen mm-hmm. i think that like there are benefits that come from like that type of mindset where it's like if random just has a pinched nerve he can keep playing and then like we'll make sure that that's fine but we also won't risk his health because obviously they're not going to risk him like being paralyzed from this experience like they're not going to do that um, which is why he gets pulled but i think having I think I understand the the it might be better to have them be able to get like actual hospital attention when necessary as long as they're not like missing key game stuff you know yeah like especially because they didn't have tribal that night I feel like it Mm -hmm. wouldn't have been that big of a deal but I do know like I think he like either talked about it or tweeted afterwards that he needed like months of physical therapy to get back Mm -hmm. to normal afterwards so like definitely in his situation if he had gone to the hospital they were like oh it's not life-threatening and then he like goes back and he's still in that extreme discomfort for the rest of the game that's not gonna be fun for him or fun for us to watch so I was like I think what happened was for the best unfortunately but like I can see both ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, it's like, yeah. I think if the game was still 39 days, then it would be a little bit more feasible because right now, um, like if you're gone for 24 hours of this 26 day game, that's four percent of the entire game, which like <laughs> wow. doesn't sound like a lot, but it's like when you only it's significant. have three weeks. Yeah, when you only have three weeks to do something and you're on a small tribe of maybe five players and you're gone for 24 hours, it's like I, I don't know. I, I think that um, they do let them on the challenge. Like if they have to be medically evacuated, like medically evaluated, they do let them come back if they're able to participate and they let them go to a hospital and stuff like that. But even um, seeing people who are like when people collapse and stuff and they have to get an IV and they do the IV like in the jungle, I'm always like, oh, they're getting those fluids. <laughs> like they're getting <laughs> true and, and like yeah. no one else has water so I don't yeah. even know if it's a, it's down to equity at this point because it's like you know it, even if you're in like pain and that's why they're evacuating you like is it fair to give you like you can sleep in a hospital bed you get to yeah, right. have fluids you get to have like food but I do think it's it's like if it's less intense then yes like 100 percent but when when they're structuring the game to make it like hard and fast, then maybe not. Yeah, yeah. No, I do that's agree. Totally spending fair. spending the night in a hospital would be like potentially game changing uh, for a lot of people. I think that they would like literally have to like 
they can't do anything except for get medically evaluated like no like right I mean obviously like with like certain medical conditions you would need to give them fluids but like now again they have like they have access to water all the time so that's not such a huge deal but like no like food unless that would be like yeah I don't know it's just tough like but like for an MRI it's like they could theoretically that could be bring him e- in for the MRI he mm-hmm. doesn't need to be 24 hours stay overnight yeah like he would be gone for like half a day and then like he wouldn't even theoretically be able to like change his clothes or like wash up or anything like that wouldn't be it wouldn't be that kind of hospital stay you know like yeah. it would still be within the like confines of the game um but yeah it's a slippery slope once for you sure yeah no and I yeah. I see all of this um I'm just like dang it's such a it's, it is such a shame that like he had this idol like so much like wasted mm-hmm. potential that now hunter's got it yeah um, right yeah. i, I mean, just saw more power even when <laughs> uh when joe got evacuated it because he was like his gi track was like not working it's like that sorry remind me who joe on um on cow wrong he was like 71 and he ate okay. too much of the reward and he like couldn't go to the bathroom basically mm. like that's something that you go to the hospital they just like you do some for, like do some stuff right. and then you're fine like he just needed mm-hmm. to like like that's like a, an right. impatient type of thing and I think that he definitely could have come back in the game but it, it's I don't know what yeah it's yeah we can talk a lot about it but yeah right. well yeah, I don't want to get too derailed here yeah go ahead I will say one more thing but you had mentioned that in Australia like if they miss tribal because of a medical evacuation they're like you can't vote for them but then they still have the possibility to come back which i don't agree with like you should not be exempt right which is what i was gonna say is like that's too far like that's a Mm game-breaking situation that has then happened it's like if you happen to get medically injured and need to go get an mri right before tribal then i'm sorry you're out like because you can't be or you have to at least be able to still be like voted out but then but then you don't have the chance to argue your case at tribal is the other thing so it's just like that changes a lot of things yeah so yeah, um, Brandon is medically evacuated because Banu prayed um, for a miracle, <laughs> and yeah, this was exactly. his miracle. Um, but it didn't mm-hmm. last long because Banu does uh, kind of ruin his own uh, second chance that God has given him. <laughs> uh, by- and, 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 and then he asks God why why he would do this to him. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Jess, are you still there? Is she alive? Oh, I'm here. I just, I'm, my, my eyes are watering. <laughs> oh, she's crying because Banu <laughs> went Banu home. was gone. It is, it was sad. Um, I mean, he just had such a hard road the whole time, but it was his fault, really. Yeah. That was like I felt bad for him maybe like the first few times, and but he kept on doing bad things to himself, blaming other people, and then mm. being like, "Why can't you fix this for me?" And I was like, "He." If I were on that island with him, I would not have been able to deal with that at all. Like, it, it was yeah. it was kind of wild. Which is why I thought it was interesting that they were so, like, we gotta get Jess out. She's such a liability. When, like, Banu was doing all this crazy stuff, saying all this, you know, whatever, yelling, like, during a challenge. I guess they all were to a degree, but, like, like to me, he seemed like the better person to get out in that second episode. Yeah. But, 100%. Yeah. The high yeah, mind I mentality, like, I think. I was gonna say the like happen. mob mentality of like everyone being upset that they lost and like emotions because are of high. Jess. So like, yeah. So they're like they're seeing that Jess is the problem here. When like if you look for the edit, makes it clear that like Banu is like yelling to kind of an unreasonable a degree, which I think would be a red flag for a lot of people in like a normal situation. But when your emotions are so high yeah. and you're also upset, it's like you're gonna kind of side with the person that you agree with in that situation yeah it, it's so unfortunate because if he had like an ounce of tact i think he could have stayed because like i think they did do a good job of getting who who was it that got uh the target on kenzie was it banu um, it was q. I, q wanted kenzie gone yeah. like a lot i can't remember where that came from i think um, banu told him that kenzie was trying to get her, him out i think that's what happened oh, okay yeah. okay and like you like then, that episode where randon went it seemed like kenzie was actually gonna get voted out 
I was very nervous. Which <laughs> would have which would have been yeah. really interesting. But yeah. then Banu, yeah. like the second that he gets saved, was like, Oh yeah, and by the way, I told everyone that um you two right. are close. Um, <laughs> so there is a target on your back now because of me. <laughs> <laughs> like Banu was that like, Shut up, a- stop talking. <laughs> He also is just like so like self pitying here, and he's oh. just like he's like oh teach me how to play the game like I, I did I do something wrong did I do something wrong and it's like <laughs> just be a person and like talk to these people like like they're not your parents like I don't know it's just like weird like the way that he, he like, like goes to Kenzie and is like and is like did I do something wrong again and then like kind of pouts off and like it's just like a whole I don't know that would piss me off too like Zach said like I wouldn't be able to yeah and it's like I'm trying to think of a situation where like his behavior would be like oh you know what like that was the right thing to do and it's like I I guess for me if you're just like constantly having to be like was this the right thing to do was this the right thing to do in survivor or otherwise it's like mm-hmm. this is not the game this is not like the situation yeah. for you yeah. to be in. and that's like, what yeah and that's what kenzie said she's like i'm not i can't teach you how to play survivor like right you're here just like i am like we are are all figuring it out like i and like if you don't want to lie like then don't but like i can't tell you if that was like wrong or right you know like you have to figure that out for yourself yeah. which i also am just sort of like they do this whole like lecture with him which clearly doesn't go well like they're like you can't just say things at tribal you can't like you gotta lie like like and then he starts to spiral about it when it's like at that point you just have to be like i can't tell him anything you know like i'm not reasonable to, like, yeah, yeah q tried his best he really did yeah i think yeah. he like really <laughs> wanted to to work with him yeah. and get kenzie out but like he just kept kind of shooting himself yeah. in the foot to the point where it's like, there's no foot left. You've shot it so many times. Right. Well, that was yeah. like, I still remember when she was talking to Bonnie and was like, you'll be the Philip to my Boston Rob. To admit that to a person's <laughs> face is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. There's something about Q that I find like inherently like some something's going on there. Like just the way that he the way that he was like approaching the whole Vanu thing but then like the next episode or maybe even that same episode he was like I want to quit like I messed up once so I'm gonna quit and then like now he is finally like kind of found himself in a place of power and he's like being like we need to get this person out and like this person's untrustworthy and like just like the way he is approaching everything there's something that's like not and just in my perception like not like good happening there um just with like him as a as a contestant so yeah I'm interested to see I'm interested to see how that like continues to play out and like where he ends up falling like when it comes to um the whole shakedown of things right from what I, yeah, understand I will say is oh, the, yeah. the quitting talk was him just saying that so that when Kenzie, uh, him, and Tiffany were left together. Um, that him and Tiff could vote out Kenzie, and like she wouldn't suspect anything. That's f- yeah. what I understand happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's gather that. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's to, what to, I, to get okay. her to not play the yeah. shot in the dark was the. Yeah. Like, the plan. But that never yeah. happened, and, obviously. So yeah. Yeah. right, because when I was watching that, I was like, God, Q, like your whole preseason interview Mm -hmm. was about how you hate quitters and you'll never quit like I was mad like I was like you what are you on about and then and then he does a confessional after he's like now Kenzie's gonna think that I'm a quitter well that's (laughs) like he 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 also like I think tweeted at some point he was like that was me testing my tribe like I like I remember at the very Mm -hmm. beginning Jelinski was like Q was actually the one to kind of suggest quitting and I think like even if that did happen in that moment what Q was thinking was like let's throw this out here to see what type of person Jelinski is and when Jelinski Mm -hmm. immediately was like oh yeah let's quit Q was like I know who you are now and Mm -hmm. like that was the kind of like telling of that yeah I really like the way that Q's been playing uh personally uh it is it is very like athlete like like power yeah uh, it's very big player. brother which is it just is like, very very it's big crazy brother. But it's really which it's is... really cool to see in this format yeah yeah and he's really focused like i think the way that he talks to banu is like really exemplary of it too because like he could just like like tiffin um 
Kenzie are kind of just like, well, we have each other, so we don't need anybody else. And like, we have each other and we have Q, but it's like, you don't think about the fact that like, if you guys win the next challenge, Bon is still with you. He's still a person on this tribe. He still has a vote. Mm -hmm. Like that's some, that's a relationship you should be fostering instead of just like writing him off. And like, same thing with Jess, like no one wanted to like try and get Jess on their side, even though she could totally be of like, she was nowhere. She was an Island. She could have been someone's vote like or like an alliance member just a number for them like well, instead of like, thinking sorry go ahead kenzie did try because remember they had that scene where kenzie went to bonu and jess and jess yeah. and bonu were pretty much just like nah this ain't gonna work yeah. i was like no yeah. you never say no to anyone yeah that's so true it was such like, a kenzie weird had, situation yeah kenzie had already shown jess though that she well, was yeah. like not mm -hmm. trustworthy and like i watched her exit interview as well and that's basically what she said she was like yeah i wasn't gonna work with her because like she had already like dummy dirty so like that's why i was mm -hmm. trying to get kenzie out but like no one was like biting on it yeah but mm -hmm. it's also like if it's if it's you or someone else like could you put that aside for one vote that's... and like save yourself in the game maybe but i think she knew that kenzie wasn't even really being for real yeah, yeah. and but i don't I think she think... was i think she I just think was that... like trying to get them to say like oh yeah i want q out or i want tiff out so they can right. use it against or that so right. that kenzie yeah. could use it against them I think if if Banu had gone instead of Jess, I think the tides would have turned a little bit, and they would have like they would have maybe like won the next challenge. Honestly, like I I think that like it just was a kind of how the chips fell type of thing. But I don't know. It, it's 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 very. And what was uh, that next challenge? Was it the the swimming one? Is that the one? I think that's what it was. I think so. Well, it was when Mariah couldn't jump, right? Is that the yes. best thing that happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, I mean, the, what a joy, joyful uh, scene. I mean, the whole Sega tribes vibes, uh, the, yeah. the vibe tribe, if you will, uh, pre pre merge. Uh, I enjoyed quite a bit the Mariah yeah. jumping scene. Um, I know some people didn't like it, but I thought the the Taylor Swift Metallica battle was was yeah. cute too. Yeah, I enjoyed that too. It did take up a lot of time. It sure screen. did. Yeah, maybe a little but... bit too long. <laughs> yeah, I, but but it, I think that's because they really didn't have much like gameplay yeah. to show on green, and so they yeah. just like we gotta show them somehow to like get them uh, acquainted with the audience before the merge. Well, there's, there's just so much hires. happening on, on purple. Like then in yeah. like the an episode. Um, I don't know what episode it was. It might have been episode three. They had to like flash back to day two on yanu and be like oh by the way while all this was happening like the entire episode that was about like who like yanu's gonna vote out this was kind of going on on nami like mm. like by the way so it's like what like i don't know that for me it's like obviously it's different when there's these like little group of people and it's like okay so like obviously lots happening but just do two tribes then if you're gonna have to do a mm. flashback to like mm, i agree oh by the yeah. way like all this was going on while these like four people were yeah. like figuring everything out it's like that's not super fair to the players on that tribe if it's like well nothing like nothing is going on so i don't right. know it's it's that's been an interesting part of this too like now more than ever i am anti three tribes from the jump like i don't mind if it's a tribe swap and it goes like two to three after some vote outs but i feel like having three like it's just so evident that one tribe ends up being a flop tribe. In this case, it was everyone who <laughs> was my tribe. <laughs> was a flop tribe. But um, yeah, it's, I think that has been playing into it more this season than I've noticed in other seasons too. Yeah. I, yeah. I also think that the, the difference between the three tribes was really interesting. Like they put people of like, like minds on all the tribes, which I don't know if that it was like purposeful or if it just like happened to shake out this way but like banu was kind of like the like we're power players if you're not a power player you gotta get out of here um and then like uh Sigo was just like we're just chilling out like um and then you had nami who was like you know just nothing even other, happened no. <laughs> they just hate each other um no but like uh they all like they are um there's a lot of like tension there um even though nothing's happened it, it it's like passive tension yeah like passive aggressiveness i don't know is that not the right way to frame this uh, yeah but, i think yeah. that's the, i think that the the 
story of the season is being told through the confessionals and not through gameplay Mm. which has been very like the whole Q thing is like so all of you like your fake quitting and like that type of thing it's all through confessional it's not through you being like making a play and then being like oh I'm telling my alliance member about this like it's all kind of like it's focusing much more on individual stories and one person more so than how that person's gameplay is affecting like the other people in the tribe to me so I think that's been an interesting shift and I and I'm not a big brother fan so I don't know how (laughs) if that's similar but it's been an interesting shift too just to see like that play out in this season yeah I will say I think part of that is because people are actually keeping their stuff to themselves this season which is appreciated because oh my god the last four seasons five seasons it's been like second someone gets an advantage it's like okay whole tribe here's my advantage and Mm -hmm. this is the ins and outs of it and like just like they don't even hold on to it for like a day like it's like the second they find it um so I guess I like that aspect of it like the the fact that there are like so many confessionals that are changing the game means that people are playing like a very sneaky game I guess like a very secretive game which I like It also feels like they're all very much playing for themselves, which I love. Yeah. Like, it's like, that was like, even like this first like merge episode, I was almost like getting annoyed with uh, the Green Tribe because I was like, they were like, so like, we want to stay together versus everyone else was kind of like thinking on their own. I was like, I hope one of them goes and <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Tiffany did share her, uh, her idol right away. And I yeah. it worked out because like, the other people were like such outcasts on their tribe but like Mm -hmm. when it was happening i was like no don't tell them and we still don't know how that could play out like that could be backfiring on them did she did she share it with everyone or was it just no kenzie Um, kenzie and q no q q no yeah Yeah, i don't know if he knew right away but he definitely does now because they did that whole like fake uh fake idol yes right yes which was uh, unnecessary That's yeah, that was totally like unnecessary in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because even if she did play her shot in the dark, it's like okay, then you're gonna vote Banu. Like exactly, you know who cares? Like, <laughs> right? Like, does it really matter if she like you cared that much about getting her out over Banu? Like, yeah. really? Yeah. I mean, it was like it was fun, but yeah. yeah. The whole time I was just like, this girl is already like so defeated yeah. like she's basically asking to leave like it, yeah. it just it felt a little mean spirited yeah um, yeah i mean i don't i don't like hold that against them or whatever but it yeah, did, I, I don't think it was intentional but i think that yeah. The, yeah, like no. once once you're in that game environment your brain's like i need to do everything to make sure my plan yeah. goes to like plan yeah. so like it definitely wasn't mean like intentionally mean but it definitely was like yeah. just, just just let her go i'm sure yeah. jess was just like yeah. come on like really yeah um, and especially watching it as an outsider, like with the full knowledge of like truly how on the bottom she was, and like the fact mm-hmm. that she had like no leverage in that game was like it was harder, I think, than like because if you're in there with limited knowledge, it's easier to be like, well, she could have this up her sleeve, her and Banu could be secretly working together, that kind of thing. Like, yeah, but wow, um, where were we? We is that last person I don't even we remember. Banu? I think now, now, yeah, now we're on Gem, I think, yeah. Oh. Gem. Gem. Yeah. oh my god well speaking yeah speaking of idols Jem finally gets the idol because her her tribe loses she does the whole yeah. like machete measuring thing which is which is cute oh i just want to talk about the the way that the beware advantages have happened this season do we like it do we well, feel like a different format should be happening gems was objectively the hardest to do out of the three of them like hunter just had to go sit on a step and yeah, what was uh, that about? <laughs> that was by far the easiest. I was like, wow. He, Why doesn't he, he have a little lucky. puzzle? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting that the man gets the easy path. <laughs> <laughs> the man yeah. who like is so good at everything and like yeah. has never like lost at all. Like <laughs> Yeah. Like would Brandon would he have just had to look under the step too? Like it felt too simple. Like, did they just make it simple because it was like right before the the merge happened i was thinking that maybe that was the case like they just wanted the idol to be in play with that tribe specifically mm-hmm. so. i think you should have had to work for it but it's yeah. also like so. you like just from a a zoomed out standpoint <laughs> like i'm sure that there was somebody with uh a walkie talkie be like 
and then hold the merch tribes for a minute. Like, yeah. Until yeah. Yeah. Seattle, yeah. Like, it's like, probably. No, it's like, okay, I also we're going to have, um, we're going to have, like, yep, come down and just see, uh, talk to them for a second. Okay. Like, not like they're interfering with the game, but it's like, yeah. clearly they want, like, they want this to be tense yeah. and they want yeah. him to, like, have it so that way one person from each tribe has an idol going into the merge. Like, yeah. But, Honestly, that yeah. scene was amazing because you also got Venus and Soda fighting. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I was like, this is just chaotic energy and I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> I will say, I I hated the edit. We're like jumping way too far ahead, but I oh, hated yeah. the editing. Of no, that we're scene. good. It's fine. I I like um the the like hunter looking for the idol, and then there was like the camera was running through oh. the jungle and then it was like they were like the boats are coming hard the boats, the they're boats. Co- they'll be like, here any second yeah and then soda was like oh i see the boats coming the boats are coming i felt like it was like so comical in like kind Damn. of a bad way like i didn't really like it to be honest like i was like what are we doing is this a serious it, show yeah. <laughs> at this point like, like just give the contestants a gopro like yeah. right like i, I don't know <laughs> It, it's like on the challenge when they have like the helmet with the GoPro on it. It's like, mm. well, this is the angle you want anyway. Like this, this yeah. is the shot you want anyway. I was so also like, like, sufficient tension is built. We don't need to have any more like artificial tension about like how how close the boats are and everyone being like, oh my god, I see the boats. Like we don't need that. Like we we know how dire this is already. Yeah. So like it coming like like Hunter's already frantic, and then it coming like after that like all this like forced tension just felt like okay we get it we get it you know I what also, they need oh. i also wonder about like what it must be like to be doing something like that like to be doing like a sneaky maneuver and then just having a crew following you mm-hmm. because it's like so then aren't like for me i'd be like oh well there's a like a camera really running like behind hunter <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> right yeah like that's what it's like just I don't know I don't know I, I feel like obviously survivors changing a lot but it's like have we have is there a reason why we don't just give them a GoPro and like have have them wear yeah. a GoPro so like we can just get this and it could be actually secretive uh like even is I think about certain- that a lot when they do like stuff at night and it's like the night vision camera and it's like them and I'm like well obviously they know that like production is there so like unless everyone's really sleeping like they they people must know that something's happening i feel like it's like the you know how like for like our survivor we're like oh we're like film everything because then it'll mean that like you're filming even if you're filming unimportant conversations no one will know if you're filming an important conversation i feel like mm-hmm. it must be like that like yeah, I think, yeah. even like, if they're just actually going to get wood they probably still just follow yeah, yeah. you yeah. know yeah. um but it, it did it did probably feel a little film- silly they probably do film them like all night too just in case probably. something happens like i from what i uh understand is they the night crew is a lot smaller because like mm-hmm. nothing really happens but they mm-hmm. are filming them the whole time yeah but if something crazy yeah. happens like the night crew there's like a couple people and they're like oh shit like the one person yeah. that's there is like all right let's go to the jungle all right, let's yeah. go <laughs> But yeah, um, I for my thing with the beware advantage, I like that there was like stakes and um, not that like they should be like encouraging them to throw the challenge, but I think that's like the mm-hmm. beware part of this, and right. the fact that like Hunter didn't succeed in his tribe losing, I think that it, he should have had to work a lot harder to get it because right. it's like it really just felt like a reward for winning every time mm-hmm. it's like well now you have an easier job just look under the stat when like right no you lost i mean you um you won every single challenge now you have five minutes to find it and you have to also do all this extra stuff like that yeah. would have been so much more like right suspenseful if he had to go and like measure everything in five to ten minutes or whatever and but yeah. the fact that he literally was just sitting on a stat but, like what tension is that building? Like you can add all the edits of boats coming in that you want, but like <laughs> yeah. at well, the end of the day, the man just sat down. Well, right. you know yeah. what they need to build that tension is they need the timer from the traders. <laughs> yes, right, like, right on the clock. Yeah, or it's like, we have twenty-one seconds to <laughs> run three miles and somehow they make it. Um, I, I like am not a fan of boyer advantages. I, mm-hmm. I just like. I just don't like them. Um, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like 
I, I think that they just always end up getting it anyway somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like, okay, so you lose your vote, but like, I don't know. I, I think when the game was like more rudimentary, um, losing your vote meant more because people would be more confrontational about like, why did the vote turn out that way? Mm-hmm. And like, people would be like counting votes and being like, three mm-hmm. people voted for this person and two people voted for this person. So who did you vote for? Cause like you said, blah, blah, blah. But like now that there's all of this like produced gameplay happening, I feel like it almost like just takes something away from like one person's actual will to like survive within it. It's like when the, like when old, old school people are like, we didn't have idols when I played, we just kind of had to talk our way out of being voted out. Like, I feel like it's kind of the the same thing where it's like, we're trying to find ways to spice, like spice up the game. But I just feel like it's something that could like needs a little bit more like fine tuning. Cause like, there's kind of ways to, like Kay was saying about uh, Hunter, it's like he kind of snuck his way out of the beware advantage because he just ended up making it to merge instead of his team losing. So yeah, yeah. Like the, the, I I the, loss, of a, the loss of a vote wasn't relevant because he didn't need to vote anyone. Like he wasn't right. on the chopping block. Mm, right. That's true. I, I agree with you. And I I agree that like the the losing your vote feels like so arbitrary because like mm-hmm. because there's so many beware advantages so many people don't have a vote that it like means nothing to me like i'm like okay now i have to remember like five different people who can't vote for various Mm -hmm. reasons and i do think your vote just generally means less in the modern game which is kind of annoying because i feel like a lot of people used to always be like the one thing you have in survivor is your vote that's your power like that's your that's your bargaining chip like the only thing you can physically give someone in the like basic standard game of survivor is your vote so like it kind of like the fact that i don't care about it is like annoying to me um, I also think that the modern era is, like, constantly a victim of, like, oh, they liked this thing one time. Okay, multiply it. Ten of them in the <laughs> yeah. next season. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, like, like the journeys, I'm, like, so over the journeys. I don't yeah. care. I, like, tune out. They're too frequent. There's a journey. It's, there, like, it's every like episode there's challenge. a journey? Are you kidding? It's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, like, on, a, on, like, Drag Race or whatever, where it's, like, oh, there's this, like, little kind of meaningless thing where I have you start the day with, and then sometimes you get like an actual advantage and then sometimes it's like you get five thousand dollars just spent on fake eyelashes and it's like, why did we <laughs> yeah. do this at all yeah. like it's like yeah. when the advantage like i do think having an extra vote means more than mm. losing a vote mm-hmm. like an extra vote's actually an advantage but is anything really an advantage when you're like and i did the journey and i got an extra vote like it's yeah i don't know i i go as like I think like obviously what I was saying before when it's like talking about like confessionals it's like there's a place where your gameplay is improved by sharing your advantages and there's a place where it's not so yeah if you're Mm -hmm. like if your tribe is is in a position where it's like okay well there's clear alliances and like these people are voting with these people now this person has an extra vote like that's why we're not getting shown uh, tribes for days and days is because we we can kind of parse out what's going to happen like we mm-hmm. know how the voting's going to go so it, it's just right. kind of like i don't know yeah i think it I, allows it allows the viewer too much power almost mm. like in the whole thing that's why like i think things feel a little bit overproduced is because it's like well we know like we kind of know what's going to happen so they have to trick us into thinking something else is going to happen so that the show is still interesting yeah i i I agree with um just like basically being like it's too much to keep track of and for someone like us like who was like has a really like uh going through this with a fine tooth comb like we can kind of keep track of who doesn't have a vote and who has idols and things like that but like the casual viewer doesn't remember that ven Mm -hmm. ben like lost his vote or like whatever right i don't know if you guys noticed hunter lost his vote and then lost it again like how does that even happen right right like you shouldn't be able to get an advantage where your cost is your vote if you don't have a vote to give yeah how are you wagering like that... a vote that you don't have i don't i, I don't also think, there's think... Some... go ahead just i was just gonna say i also think that the like the loss of a vote used to be like in 41 when there was like oh suddenly the, there's these beware advantage oh my god fuck i opened this thing and now i don't have a vote until i can do this like fuck fuck, fuck that sucks like people were like ashamed and in, like they were mm. scared to tell their tribe they didn't have a vote because then they suddenly had nothing to offer anyone. And now people are like, ah, fuck. 
Damn, I lost my vote. Lost yeah. my vote. Oh, hope I find it soon. Like there's yeah. like no like fear. I hope I find it soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the the idol. Oh, I no, you're it. like oh. I lost my vote. Hope I find it. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, too. but the the voting economics is it's too complicated. That's just simply. Well, I, also, yeah. in in the new era, I feel like they just don't like having a lot of votes in the mix. Like, because I think True. next week, aren't we doing that split tribal thing again? Like, when we we merge with this large group of people, but like right. the first vote, half of them can't even be voted for. So, like, what's right. the point of it? It's like and if, then the if you don't if you don't want ten votes in the mix, then merge with less people. Like, if, if you don't <laughs> yeah. want to have like one tribe of thirteen people, which is literally what they had was one thirteen person tribe, then merge when there's less people in the tribe. Like. I'd rather have a twi- a, tri- a twibe swap. I'd rather have a tribe swap. <laughs> I'd rather have a twibe swap. Like, what, like, like we talked about, this is what happens every time. There's three tribes. One tribe kind of falls to the bottom. One tribe stays at the top. I think instead of having a merge, it's more interesting to mix up the dynamics on the tribe. Like, imagine if, like, Banu had stayed with a couple of Sega members and, like, Tevin got on a tribe with Banu. Like, that would have been so interesting because it's like, mm-hmm. well, here are these people who, like, really get along and then Tevin who's obviously going to voice like when he's not happy with something like that would be interesting television instead of just being like well now we have one 13 member tribe half of you can vote half of you can't somehow there's all the women like all the women on one side and all the men on the other and like they got and because the women like the women and Charlie's tribe lost like it gave me- the men literally all the power and the dynamic yeah. to like decide the vote. Like it just kind of felt bad. And yeah, Eliza Orleans tweeted and was like, "I was just about to is- say it." Yeah, she was like, "This is why schoolyard picks are like better than this because it like yeah. actually gives people like a little bit of a a lift in a way to like make make things more interesting in the and game. It's more balanced. Yeah. yeah, I also think that like the thing that makes me mad about the the mergatory challenge is like there should not be a challenge that is so clear cut on like what skills are valid are valued that like they can look at this tribe and be like mm. oh fuck we're losing like there should be more of like a, okay well but maybe it's gonna require agility like maybe it's gonna require which at the end of the day i do think that like the smaller tribe had the advantage in the mud net and i also think that like the puzzle was evenly matched and like the the i forget which the cult which colors were which but the tribe with all the women was like not necessarily like they 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 put up a good fight like in the end it was yeah. kind of tension filled about who was gonna win but the fact that like the people can predict the challenges so well that they look at the tribe with all the guys and they're like we're done you know and like yeah. tiffany mm-hmm. basically had like a free ride to picking who was gonna win because it was so clear who was gonna win you know yeah unless they like totally dropped the ball in the puzzle which is possible yeah. but yeah. so much of that was just like are you strong yeah are you big and strong right. can you lift and that's what it is every time head? And that's yeah. what it is every time. It's the same challenge. It's like, be strong, be strong, be good at a puzzle. Like, every time. Yeah, I yeah. think that's really what, like, a lot of the new era is for me. It's like, I'm not even upset with, like, this season's format, per se. But, like, the fact that we've done this now for six seasons and it's yeah. so predictable, I think that's yeah. where I am. Like, let's shake it up a little bit. Like, let's make them not know what's happening you know what i mean like they're mm-hmm. like okay now we're gonna draw the rock and now tiffany's yeah. gonna pick the team and now yeah. right right like, um and I... have you made it an interesting point um i watched some of the uh episode six uh post show um evie said that like you know people hate on the hourglass twist but like it actually did give the mergatory stake so like yeah you know maybe not that we need to go back to the hourglass but something yeah. different here so it's yeah. not so yeah. predictable and people don't feel so safe you know half of the cast isn't safe you know right something to think about you know yeah because if, I will... if you're gonna if you're gonna have one half of the cast be safe then do a merge swap into two tribes because then one tribe winning would make would make those people safe from the vote yeah. like it, it right. just like i don't know it doesn't make sense to me because i think that what they have done which is not to get real but which is like oh a, what a lot of large entities do is when they try to overcorrect in response to something so i think in the in the name of trying to be as like like equitable as possible when it comes to the challenges and when it comes to like 
like making sure that everybody has an equal thing you reduce it down to rocks and then it does just that it boils it all down and like nothing is it, it makes it like non-interesting because like the the interesting part about survivor are the dynamics of people so like when you're allowing them to pick like something as simple as picking their own teams for tribes right that adds to it like that like if you pick someone over someone else that's like leads to like sometimes can lead to like the the team captain getting voted out because like that person was mad that mm-hmm. their mm-hmm. alliance wasn't like honored in that situation so and then in a name and in like an effort to just kind of like equalize everything which obviously like it's something like there's like still work to be done it's like it, it's taken a lot of like what survivor actually is out of it so I think they're just kind of in yeah. like a growing like a tertiary like growing period still as they kind of like adjust to like what they want to do like what they want mm-hmm. to produce versus like what people actually want in the yeah. game and not to make this about me but uh <laughs> when when we did our uh our fan made survivor right like i still had a mergentory that i planned but I did switch it up like the the format of that was like the two tribes come together they pick a partner from the other tribe and they work together and whoever wins from that pair is safe like that's just like yeah. something different you can do like right. obviously it doesn't yeah. have to be that and but like now there's like different dynamics here that you can play with um, but yeah, yeah, we've gotten we've gotten a little off track here. But yeah, um, <laughs> and always a fun conversation. To, yeah. to it's okay. Rant. I'm always here. I'm always here to rant about the mechanics of Modern Survivor because it really makes me angry sometimes. If there's one thing that Sour fans love to do, it's complain. Yes, of course. That's, that's do you awesome. love to complain? Yeah, <laughs> you should watch Survivor. <laughs> what if I told you complaining was a sin? <laughs> I, I have several complaints oh wow okay name, name all seven go ahead <laughs> all right um so yeah the that was oh we didn't even really talk about gem no, no we did not at all <laughs> no because we, we, oh, we, we, were, advantages. we were talking about her her uh, we're talking about wear advantages her idol yes yeah yes, yeah yes. um i mean i opened up a can of worms there yeah. but uh yeah uh she was playing very hard yeah. I, I really enjoyed the edit that episode mm-hmm. though because I going into tribal I was like there's I'm like I'm losing a team member in Ben this mm-hmm. is so upsetting but I was like watching Jem play and I was like she's playing really really hard so it was shocking yeah. to me that I didn't really feel like she was gonna go so that kind of reveal at yeah. the end that she left the idol in her pocket felt like it was so exciting to watch mm-hmm. like it was it yeah. was a great moment I, also I guess like I believe really being... that Maria was gonna stick with her like I thought mm-hmm. Maria was gonna be girls gang forever, but I she fooled yeah. me. So good yeah. for Maria. I also feel like Jem was getting an edit that felt like it had a lot of momentum. Like it didn't feel like this was like the end of her story. Like it was really building to something, which I guess is like probably purposeful. So you feel that like that shock that she's leaving. Um yeah. but yeah, I was really expecting her to go at least to merge. Ugh, she yeah. was so fun. She yeah. was fun and I loved I love that she was like I love that she said that she's like when she like made up the lie about the beware advantage like she was like I'm just here to have fun like I don't care if this is like a bad game move like I just want to kind of like mess Good with people. For her. I thought it was yeah. a great game move. I, I yeah. thought that what she did was interesting. Like I I, it, was it was interesting. Was- I, like, I think it was interesting. I think that if she had lasted longer, as soon as she pulled out that idol, her whole entire tribe would have hated her. Yeah. So I, I don't know how good it was for her long-term game, but it was so entertaining to watch. So I, I also right. feel like it probably was more obvious that it was her than maybe the edit even yeah. let on. Because like she yeah. was the only one not like digging. You know, like yeah, why like would it be Tim? Tim there. is out here <laughs> digging for his life. Like why would right. people be wasting their precious, precious calories and yeah. energy? Like digging a hole if they know that there's no advantage there you know what i mean i also I think, like from yeah from an outsider perspective i felt like it was so obvious it was her i mean obviously we knew that but the way that she was like she literally was standing there just like <laughs> watching them dig and then she would talk to everyone and she'd be like oh my god yeah like it probably is tim yeah it's like, probably, probably tim guys <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile tim is like <sighs> i think yeah. she needed to like take it a step further in one way it's like you either need to take it like total like 180 like psycho step further and be like well you know what I think like play it really hard that way and be mm-hmm. and like or just like take it the playing along route um mm-hmm. 
Because, like, if she wanted to take it, like, one step, step, like, two steps further and be like, I think Tim was digging really hard because I think that he did this. Like, you either have to be really hard one way or really hard yeah. the other way. But I think if, if somehow she had made it to merge, I think people would have been like, oh, that was actually kind of like a cool move. Like, if she had somehow, like, joined yeah. up with Hunter and been like, I actually undug my box and, like, moved it somewhere else. Like, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. So I think that, like, something could have happened there, but I also find that, like, in this modern era when we don't hear a ton from somebody and then all of a sudden there's an episode, like, totally about them, they're probably gonna get voted off. Yeah. So. That's yeah, they're like, this is your moment in the sun right before yeah. you leave. I also, well, I feel like it's in- players like Jem that make me really want, like, a like a pre-merge boot season because, like, mm-hmm. She there is like a lot of potential there with her that like I feel like we didn't really get to see play out and like having someone like like her or, like Sabaya like people like that who like had yeah so much to do like oh and just like wasted um I really want them to come back so I'm I'm hoping that one day we can see that and we don't need yeah. Princess Qua we've seen no her. not again. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's um, so Jim. Who goes next after that? I'm pre- is that um, the Mariah? Now, now we're yep. at the Mergatory. Okay. So, um, yeah, a lot we've already discussed so far. Mariah is really seen as like this big threat. Um, which is I, 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 I'm so because her favorite about that, player but... is Aubrey. Uh, that's crazy. Like I what? Think it's only Q. I think only Q thinks this. To be honest. Like I don't. That's fair. Think that I don't think anyone else is really convinced she's a threat. I think she's just the easy vote, you know. And, like, and I, I also think that it's the fact that is it Sega's the green tribe. Yeah, Sega was like yeah. putting together like we're this strong tribe together, and they wouldn't show their crack. Versus, yeah, Nami was like so divisive. They're like, well, we have to break up the five strong people that are all together because that's a lot more dangerous than this like fragmented tribe. Yeah, and so right. logically, it it does make sense to take out mariah i think i agree yeah. i mean i do think that it would have i think venus is right it would have made a lot more sense to get rid of charlie um yeah, of course. but i uh i definitely agree taking green down versus yellow makes a lot more sense and like venus is also now being perceived as like this like like uh this a like villain i guess but not really in a strategic way more in just like a no one will work with her kind of way so right. i think that there's like in less an iconic of a, way in an iconic way of course but for some reason they're not seeing the vision um so they (laughs) don't care to get her out over like someone who like could potentially like ride along easily with the green tribe i do love that venus doesn't give af uh she just is like why would we like even though like she's like yeah i guess it could be mariah but like why would we do that like mariah's threatening to you like (laughs) Yeah. yeah, I mean, in her in her preseason, she said she wanted to give that energy, and thank God she's shown up for us because oh, we're living. Yeah, my hot tribe is still there. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I'm I'm. She may not be on my team, but I'm rooting for Venus to somehow yeah. come back and win this game because she she is just so entertaining to watch. Like, even if she doesn't win, I need her back on my TV as soon mm-hmm. as possible. Yeah. Like, I Please. love watching her. <laughs> yeah, she's great. I, yeah, I think from like a like a zoomed out approach, it's like, right, there's this one tribe who seems very together, like we should like have and like their willingness not to share, like I kind of like put them more on the chopping block, but I, I don't know that like the men on Sega realize that like by not being forthcoming, they in effect gave up Mariah like, oh, in definitely. that way. So it's like right. I don't know. I don't know if that was their int- like. It was like a lie of omission. Like it was like, yeah. Well, we're not gonna say anybody, but it's like if you don't it's like exactly what they were saying. It's like if you don't give them a name, they're gonna just like take a name. And like, luckily, it was Mariah. Because I think if they would have been like, okay, well, we're gonna get out Charlie, they'd be like, no, 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 not Charlie. So it's like obviously, right. like they didn't really care about getting mariah out anyway but once again i will say they should have voted out liz i don't understand yeah. like once again the fact that yeah. liz was not even a, a in contention is crazy to me yeah yeah if we're talking about like, i just think that the, every time she opens her mouth she's just like 
y'all i'm so rich and it's like so annoying because people like don't respect women who are wealthy uh, it's like lynn stop please people don't yeah, like that I, especially especially on a like like we were talking about like people who want people who are gonna play hard it's like she's not playing the game right. and she's filthy rich but also i do understand in a normal season especially now that we've gotten to the merge i think that there is going to be a little bit more of like a keep the weak players around get the strong out and I that we so see. um but i i personally wouldn't be concerned about liz winning even if, like she, you know like no one's gonna vote for her even if she's yeah, there as soon as she's walking around saying she's rich i'm like yeah bring her to the end because then they'd be like right. she doesn't need the money why would you vote for her like <laughs> exactly yeah, I do kind of foresee us plucking off the the people who are not in that six going forward. But I mean, yeah. they are not currently in the majority, so we'll see. But um, and yeah, do who we else really was... know that it's like a strong six because Maria and Tim don't seem That's that true. sold. And I can yeah, there's so many ways this game could go. It's like so exciting. Like yeah. I I'm very excited to see what happens I, next. I think Maria, like I think she's smart. Like I think Definitely. that there's some like, and it's and you know what? It's because she's like lived a life and like knows mm. how to interact with people. Um, even though sometimes she gives me like like the, I I don't I I question what a parent coach is. <laughs> uh, like, I do question that. Um, she's but, lived life and she knows how to right. talk to people, just like it's, you said. Just the way that like literally like the way she parented the shit out of Jalinski when she was like. You have a choice. You can either tell me the truth or I will like be upset with you. And like, oh, she's he, such a mother. Right. He just literally. <laughs> mother. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I think remember. That's interesting. I think that the whole thing where Tim is like, me and Maria are the only people who are parents on our tribe. It's like, I don't think that's a good enough reason to get an alliance with somebody. Um, mm. And I wouldn't be surprised if like, if Maria. Um, aligned herself with Venus because I think that she understands other people's perception of Venus and like w- like I would want to work with Venus because like she would be a great shield but I wouldn't be surprised if, if hopefully in the next few weeks like we see a couple of like stronger bigger player like bigger players mm-hmm. like getting eliminated because especially now in the individual game it's like that is who you want gone rather than like oh but she's like so nice it's like i mean you gotta look around the room right like you're you see what hunter's doing in those challenges like there's no way you can't let that man get to the end no it's it's crazy (laughs) it's like let the mergatory uh challenge be an example for you about what will Mm -hmm. happen if you don't start voting those people out of the game Mm -hmm. yeah and i think that like the 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 common knowledge that exists that hunter is like this insane player is crazy to me that like he like 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 i noticed in the water challenge like like there are you know first of all hunter jumps like halfway to the platform which is crazy <laughs> yeah and he basically he just totally hops, like the lily pads he yeah goes so much faster than everyone else it's i didn't even know he was good at swimming he never mentions it like and he just can't get, like blows everyone else out of the water and then he hits those the basketball thing one two three like faster than anybody else no mistakes but like when he gets up there to go they're like a little bit behind and then hunter gets up to do the, the basketball and tevin just yells like to everyone like once hunter gets these balls it's over like and like i i mean like obviously like that maybe is a good thing to get like people like I'm sure they're already looking at him. Like, there's no way that they're not. But, like, I don't know. Maybe it was intentional to, like... You know uh, how, like... You know how, like, all... Like, every man, the straight man that exists right now is like, yeah, I could probably beat Caitlin Clark in in basketball. Like, I feel like, unfortunately, (laughs) Hunter, like maybe could put up (laughs) (laughs) he's so good at everything he does he is so good and he doesn't even have a basketball background as far as we know like we don't even know if he like played sports really he just made puzzles in his garage (laughs) (laughs) i'm curious about about like brawny james declaring for the draft and he's a freshman and he was like there someone's like i have an idea Caitlin Clark versus Bronny James one on one. Winner goes to the NBA. Loser goes to the WNBA. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was I, like, okay. Listen, listen. Um, 
Uh, side note, Kayla Clark is incredible. But um of course. Yeah. That's our uh, other podcast about college women's basketball. Uh the championship is tomorrow. Yes. Really exciting. Um, all right. So I think we've we've chatted enough about uh the the booted players. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about the remaining players and rank them. I think we're gonna do semi rank down style here. Um we're gonna go bottom up so we'll start with the the 12th slot here um and then we have to agree that's important we have to agree on who Mm -hmm. we think is um like worst and then best if we so there's gonna be some there's gonna be some compromising that needs to happen inherently i was gonna say but is is it majority rules if we don't agree or yeah 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 we'll we'll figure it out and also (laughs) are we so are we ranking on how far we think they're gonna go or how good of a player they are chance to win chance to win okay chance okay. to win that we're we're winner takes all here we don't okay. care yeah. okay. second place doesn't matter you right know, second place whatever um okay. so who was so we'll start with who has the the worst chance to win of the group any contenders Liz. Liz. Liz for <laughs> sure. I, th- I think she might be the bottom. Anyone else have uh, any issues with that? I no. think that I think that everyone is correct. It's Liz. And I think that even if she gets the final two, no way in hell does she win in a vote, in a like, jury vote. And I very honestly, I think that she there's a good chance that she'll make it to the end unless something mm-hmm. crazy happens in the middle. Um, but like, yeah, I don't see a world where she wins. Unless it's regardless- crazy- I don't see her winning. I also don't see her getting voted out, which is kind of, yeah. which is kind of crazy. Yeah, I like she could get even... she could get third very easily, mm-hmm. but like she's never going to get the majority unless something crazy yeah. happens. So I think we can yeah. probably firmly put her in the 12th slot. Yeah, like the only time I could see her going is maybe next week if there's a really weird split in the split tribal. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. and people are like, we just need someone to go and nobody yeah. cares yeah. That she's just much about her. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think even if she can pull the stops out with some sort of game move, the chances that people are willing to look past her, this early game, first of all, and also the fact that she's a like a millionaire, um, is uh, <laughs> and she didn't even want to go her. look for idols. Everyone's looking for idols. She's no, like, oh, uh, I usually have my my workers do that for me. She was like, how does someone like that get cast in the game? Like, well, she had they, a, I think they thought she was Mariah, blog. and they were like, they were like, <laughs> no. oh yes, we love that Mariah girl. Um, and they cast Liz, and they were like, oh wait, that's not her. It's so they like, had to also nobody, cast Mariah. How has nobody made an edit that's like Liz, Mariah, and Kenzie? It's like a Pokemon evolution. <laughs> like and Kenzie, that? and Kenzie, yeah. Okay, Kenzie wait, who the- who's the original form? I think mm-hmm. Mariah. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Yeah, like... And is then Kenzie would be the most evolved for. I'm not a Pokemon person, but okay. I know <laughs> this was relevant. So it goes from I also from Liz to Mariah to Kenzie. Or does it go in wealth level? You know, <laughs> <laughs> how high they can jump. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, girl did not I... does not know how to push off her feet. I'll say that. Oh, oh my God. It was actually aggravating to watch. I was like, you guys <laughs> are doing a bad lessons. job at teaching her how to jump. Yeah. You have you have to start through the foot, push off of the of the um the ball of your foot and through the toe. We're not I do yeah. think that the false um encouragement was probably for the best. Yeah. Ultimately it did not matter. No. Because no, that was not the point she of the didn't challenge. Improve at all. <laughs> but it, it was funny <laughs> to watch all right um so liz is at the bottom um so now it gets a little trickier who's like bottom of this group i think soda might be in contention for me um yeah I think soda's not in a great spot um tim is another yeah, person. i was like, gonna say tim his edit this last episode like i think if he wasn't safe like he was kind of given a soon out like edit vibe to me, yeah, I, don't know I mean, why. Hugh was not happy that he didn't say anything yeah. to Maria, and which also is people fair. are just in generally not feeling good about the Green Tribe at the moment. Yeah, I just like, don't know why, as Tim, you wouldn't go back to Maria and be like, "There's, there's this group of four that really want to work with us. Like, you know, this is an yeah. opportunity for us when we merge. Like, why would you not tell her that? That's just it. Also, silly. looks bad about him 
to Maria. Like, not only is he right. upset, but, like, Maria is like, wait, why wouldn't you tell me this? And, like, now I'm being approached by someone I don't even know about, like, something I'm allegedly supposed to know already. Like, in general, he's just being too passive for someone who is already being perceived yeah. as a threat. Like, if he already, like, because the whole point of that Six Alliance is, like, the big threats coming together with their plus ones. Mm-hmm. Like, so if he's not going to, like, really take the game by the reins, like, I, I do think he's not going to yeah. make it. And I don't think further. he has many allies either. Yeah. So when do we want to go like... with Tim? Um, or do we have other I don't know. Thoughts? I'm just, I'm trying to think about, like, the merge because. I think I mean, like, him and but Soda let's be would honest, be like, other. but does Venus really have a, that big of a chance at this? Well, point? she's just so on the bottom, and I don't think yeah. that anyone is taking her seriously. So I, think it's I can see her kind of sliding by versus eleven. It's really like... yeah. And like in my fan, do you want to know what my fantasy is? Oh yes. yeah, yeah. Talk is us that... through it. Is that Soda and Venus get over their beef and start working oh, together wow. to like create an underdog be. group to topple this alliance of six? And then it just like it's slaying all the way to the end. So it could that's... definitely happen because <laughs> Venus yeah. is the one who told Soda, like, well, if if like you and them are targeting Mariah because she knows this game, like you also know this game, you're next. And Soda mm-hmm. was like, damn, you're right. And like yeah. Venus yeah. is saying, like, she doesn't want to get out of the girls. So like that works mm-hmm. for Soda. Um, and like yeah. if they also hook up with Maria and Maria oh, brings Charlie. I thought you were gonna I thought you were gonna stop it if they also hook up. Yeah, if they also <laughs> hook up. I mean I I was like, whoa. <laughs> I think <laughs> tell me more. Once like all these new people start going into the mix, I think that uh Soda and Venus will have to lay down their arms. And I, I think to. like mm-hmm. because honestly, I there's just something about Q that I can't get past. And I think that, like, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I think that he probably, like, I for me, he's, like, at the, the bottom half of this list versus the top half of this list. Mm-hmm. And I think that, like, I, I just feel like they're going to start making moves to, like, if, if they, you know, if my fantasy happens, it's just going to be a very, like, to all of, like, the, the strong men in this game. And I feel like if Q's, keeps like acting like i feel like sometimes after the merge people start acting differently because they have these other people that they feel like they're trying to win over and i think if he does do that like it's going to be interesting to see how the rest of his game plays out like in in the near future like i i also think it's almost like when shan was in the merge and everyone was like why are we letting shan tell us what to do like that kind of feels like that could happen with q because he's Mm. being very like this is what i want Mm -hmm. to have happen and this is what we're gonna do like people could be like why are we letting this guy tell us what to do but also true they're playing so much like big brother that maybe this is just gonna turn into a big brother that's what i'm saying like we'll steamroll his way to the end like like usually i think i am kind of cautious about someone like you but with this group of people i think that he does have a lot of influence and people are going to listen to him i don't know but yeah. i think he's he's further up from this anyway so i think yeah. the the question is is it venus tim or soda so who thinks it's venus who thinks it's i tim? don't know i Me. can't decide i think it's tim okay all so right, it's we'll tim. tim all right tim is at the bottom if you got three letters in your name, you're done. <laughs> ben. Ben. <laughs> I don't what do we think about Ben? I he I, I feel like he's kind of faded into the background now. I and, agree. Like, he was playing a very strong game, a really good social game in the pre-merge, but now I mean, and maybe it's for the best for him though, is the thing. You know, like, like he is just sort of there. And I he's so he'll... social and I think people like yeah. him. But it really I think a... he's he'll fall off to like fourth or fifth from like Mm -hmm. like he'll he won't be like top three but he'll be like fourth or fifth randomly win a challenge when he really needs to and then it's like whoa ben might win this and then he'll get voted out the next week yeah i just don't see him doing anything yeah like people aren't threatened by him but like the fact that he was the other name when gem went i don't think he had a lot of like sway over the fact that he didn't go like it was really all in the hands of maria and charlie yeah and like i don't think he even did anything like to save himself 
Right. Uh, I mean, I do think, like, he did do the whole thing where when he lost his vote, he made sure that nobody on his tribe... Like, yeah, that was sure good. What was like. So he does have some game savvy, which is why I wouldn't, like, mm-hmm. completely count him out. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, like, thinking, though, like, he's, like, uh, he's not one of my, like, strong contenders at this point. Yeah. yeah. So are we still, um, well, are we still with Venus or Soda here? Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like that's the natural next step if we were thinking about them for the last one. Um, I, mm-hmm. I I don't know. I kind of feel like Soda might have more agency than Venus. Like, I agree. Because, like, I don't know that, like, sure, maybe they'll let Venus slide for, like, a few rounds and stuff, but then, like, there's gonna be some sort of, like, complicated, like, strategy stuff where, like, maybe she gets like the short end of the stick because no one is writing for her i don't know i just think that she has a lot more like um a sense of like being proactive like she's gonna fight to the bitter Mm -hmm. end and like yes she has an uphill battle right now but i think she does have a lot of game savvy as you say zach um that like she could be able to like wiggle out of that but i respect yeah i guess people want to do it i respect i guess it's just like i i think that venus is more equipped for the ride but like soda starting at a higher you know a higher yeah. level at the moment like whether well, uh, whether it's not so high i don't know because i was about to say like at the end of their like the nami tribe like if i think if they had gone to tribal it would have been a like a closer vote between soda and venus because i think that they're starting to see how much of a threat soda could be socially mm-hmm. and so it really depends on it, whether or not this is going to get yeah. to like, yeah. Big Brother I, or if it's going to go back to Survivor right. and take out I the guess big it's, it's hard because we haven't really seen what Soda can do. I think all we've mm-hmm. really seen so far is that she is a little combative. Like, I'm mm-hmm. thinking about the time, like, she um, kind of gave it to Q a little bit on the mat. Mm-hmm. Like, something like that. Or, like, that weird, like, conversation that her and Venus are having when Hunter's yeah. looking for the idol. Like. Oh, um, I think that could get her into a lot of trouble when she actually needs yeah. to play the game because she hasn't really had to so far. Yeah. Right. Like I think that within the context of the Yellow Tribe, she's in a good spot because of Tevin and Hunter. But but yeah. Tevin was talking about targeting her already. To Hunter. Oh, really? I missed that. Yeah. No, that was at the end of the Nami Tribe. They were like talking. They remember Soda's gotta go to. Oh wow! Yeah, I missed yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> I um, think. Okay, so we'll ask then. Who thinks uh, Venus is next? Who thinks it's Soda? I it, guess Okay, I you do. gotta raise your hand for someone. I, I, I Frankie, guess, well, Frankie, I, who do you think it is? I don't know. I, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like things are gonna get crazy. But oh, yeah. Like, like, um, like... I don't know. I, I, I think that... We can say soda, but I don't know. I, I think that let's just say soda. Let's just say soda. That's fine. I, well, I don't have okay. I we. I mean, it, they so. do want to hear your thoughts. Um, if you who did they? you feel good about that? Yeah, who's I was they? gonna say who's they? <laughs> who's they? <laughs> Jeff Probst. What? <laughs> you said they do want to hear your thoughts. <laughs> oh i guess so. oh, like I our meant... viewers? <laughs> um, i definitely just meant me um i do i do use she her pronouns to be clear okay. um but they's okay um i don't um, i truly didn't I even know. notice that i said they so um <laughs> they want to hear your thoughts they being the four of us <laughs> they um I, yeah i don't know I where that came from so sorry okay. i i think that soda <laughs> is smart and i think that she's going to realize that she's on the bottom I think that the way that they were editing the last episode was just kind of showing that um, she's not, like, she can sometimes hold them back in challenges a little bit, which was challenging because, like, it was just, like, kind of, like, a tough watch when, like, like they were, like, trying to do the challenge. And, like, she was kind of, like, I don't know, it was just, like, kind of, like, getting me, like, right here. But I think that they're going to kind of try to, like, start playing that into that for some reason. But I think that she's incredibly smart. And I think that she's going to be, like, you're going to, like, who would you rather have to compete with, like, later down the road? Like, me? Or, like, like someone like Hunter? Like, I think she's smart enough to be, like, this is my try, but, like, I don't give it, like, yeah. like these people are nothing to me. Which I think is the, re- like, what the attitude should be when you go into Survivor, which is, like, I'm working with these people, but like 
these people are not my friends. Like we're t- mm-hmm. we have to work together right now because like we're trying to win these challenges. I don't want to get voted out, but like I don't know. Like I, I think I don't really have another answer that's not soda. Mm-hmm. I guess, but I, I just you. think that like she's. I think she has the prowess to to like launch herself forward because I think that she does have tact, and I think that she'd be able to do it in a way where it's like have ideas, but kind of like be like, oh well, you know. Maria said this but it wasn't Maria like it was her and like kind of like pushes over to Maria like I think that she's smart but I don't know that I like if, if I'm just looking at it objectively like I have a an option that's not yeah no I get soda, you so I, well, I mean there's a lot of factors here obviously uh we're hoping also- for an underdog uprising yeah but I think what I see we seem to sort of agree on is right now the the six or like the stronger players have an upper hand right now Mm -hmm. so that's kind of where i'm coming from yeah like i definitely have these like dream storylines in my head where like soda and venus are in the final two together and now they're best friends what a a dream like oh Um, amazing well they thank you for your thoughts um (laughs) um, so i think uh based on what we said venus is gonna go in nine yeah yes unless there's objection well yeah do we have or or maybe one or Or maybe or maybe maybe venus Venus is is one (laughs) <laughs> I, this is I'm, I feel like I'm a, I'm a delusional Venus stan and I'm like she can't go this low I need her to have a better I know, <laughs> like, I, know. Not, not I love Venus team, but I think I she has low, low odds for sure yeah, yeah I, like I, I, she also, was I'm not opposed yeah sorry yeah she was like obviously I love her and what she's what she's bringing to the game but I think the fact that she was like completely shut down like when she tried to like convince anyone to do anything besides vote mariah out i mean people were listening to her and but they weren't taking the action um like she didn't even have like a single person on her side um so i think that that like at the end of the day is like sure you're gonna be overlooked but the second that there's like a disagreement about like you know who's gonna go it's like well we can always default to venus you know yeah that's true yeah i mean she's got a target on her back yeah like i feel like anyone who is not gets this tar- like you know it might be them next week anyway so yeah. all right I so also let's think lock that in that the same in, way that's fine in the same way that um i know like people were considering mariah to be a threat it's like venus is also like in theory could poison like people against the stronger players like she has yeah. like you know she she'll go around and she'll that's the perception i think well, that yeah. she could definitely carry because also, I do think that if Venus is going to go further in the game, she kind of needs Charlie. Because mm-hmm. she needs people who are not in that group of six. And so if she keeps up. Yeah. I, I think the only reason she like picked Charlie specifically was because it was only those like mm-hmm. six people that were possibly going to be voted for. So definitely could happen. Yeah. Yeah. So we from just to recap, we have from bottom to top, Liz, Tim, Soda and Venus. And now we have to... Uh, this is a tricky spot. Um, yeah, the middle's I hard. Think, I think Ben is someone I'm looking at. I think at. Ben's a good person to put here. Yeah. Um, I think that he has a word. He's falling too much into the background over everybody else who's left. I think he could make it to the end, but I mm-hmm. have a hard time seeing him winning right now. Yeah. Um, I do think I that agree. if he makes it to the final, he like he just seems like a very charismatic person. And I feel right. like yeah. I, I, for some reason, don't see him making it to the final and that just could be I don't know yeah, he either. isn't in that big group so I think mm-hmm. Ben any objections and I'm he's also on the green Graphic. tribe and if they're going to keep on saying that they're yeah. strong I think they could just keep on getting targeted I hope they I think him, so but... too mm-hmm. and especially because Tim and Maria are in with the six or whatever it like could be Ben seems to be the obvious person Ben or Charlie and the fact that there's literally 12 people left in the game and like they're all on one tribe it's yeah. just like i i think they said in the previews for next week that two people are getting voted out or something is that true mm, i don't know i think, no, I I think that was sort of implied yeah yeah i yeah. don't know what that looks so, like but but yeah okay maybe we can it's like a ben in it might be another like team situation and one person from each team like two tribals yeah. but it's one tribe i don't know and, and one person doesn't make the merge <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that is what it is. That's no, no, not the season. march, not jury, jury, jury. Jury, not, no, yeah, all, yeah. yeah. Does it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that yeah. is exactly what they did last year. Yeah, right. Yeah, because exactly. Sifu, yeah, because Sifu had to leave, and yeah. then Caleb was the first. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, 
yes so crazy how like when you have two tribes and like you, you know you can vote people out a little bit easier <laughs> yeah when there's so crazy. two tribes no you know but 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 no they're one tribe just two tribals and two different immunity necklaces don't right. get it twisted Frankie don't get it twisted <laughs> right 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 right, right. <laughs> uh, it's complex it's complex yeah and it's different it, it's, it's different than anything else yeah, subverting yeah. expectations they've never done it before <laughs> All right, so we have, uh, here are the contenders left. Um, we have Kenzie, Q, Tevin, Hunter, Charlie, and Maria. Oh, and Tiffany, sorry. Tiffany. Yeah, Tiffany, well. Maria. I'm kind of feeling um, Tevin for this. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think... see, I don't think he really has a lot going for him. I agree. Uh, everyone, it, uh, he also has um, everyone thinking he's a big threat. Like, yeah, everyone's like, wow, he he's so have... sociable, like, which is yeah. true, but, like, he hasn't really done anything, like, game-wise, but he yeah. does have that personality that's um, already drawing a lot of attention in terms of, like, yeah. what he could and I don't, possibly yeah. do with his charm. Yeah. Right. And I don't think he's doing a lot to downplay that perception of himself, either. Yeah. No. Well, mm-hmm. does this look um, like another one of our, one of mine are gone? I'm thinking though, because I'm thinking like, but like, how much, how much agency does Kenzie really have in this space? I, I, I mean, she the has purple, a lot of. Like, I mean, this. I, I guess like the purple tribe currently is in a really good spot because they are like the smallest in numbers. Um, I think she has I a lot know, of agency. Like, She's she's also involved that... in my delusional plan with Venus and Soda. <laughs> that Kenzie also gets pulled in just <laughs> just just to make that aware. Yeah, just cause, just cause. I think Kenzie has such a good approach to things. Like when she's like talking to people and like mm-hmm. trying to do plans and like trying to make moves. Like I think she has a great approach. Um, but I think that like I think there's just this big like weird fear around any women in this game who like True. know how to talk to other people mm-hmm. that like she might get voted out but i also feel like she might be a sneaky good individual challenge player so i think yeah. that could play oh, to her yeah. advantage she seems smart she seems strong like you know like she's i tough. she has all those tattoos she's very strong and tough <laughs> so she can like like you know mental fortitude i I could see a world where she kind of like they take out the like people who aren't playing the game right now but she survives that portion Mm. and then also survives the portion where they start targeting all the like big strong people who are running the game and then she kind of gets away to the end and i think if she gets the end she'll easily be able to talk her way to the win like that's why i'm like i think yeah because i I do agree with that i think she in a way that like that in, in a more tactful way that Q cannot can like go up to Maria and be like, listen, you know, who's a huge mm-hmm. threat in this game is Hunter. And I think we like, yeah. need to get Hunter out of here right now. Um, and and she, I think that she knows how to speak to, to people. Yeah. So, people really mm-hmm. just like trust her and like want to work with her. She's a hairdresser. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good, just like Jim Jim. Hair, hairdressers so are true. new uh, police officers. Yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> tell people you're, you're <laughs> a hairdresser. Say that you're no, but it, it is so true though. On. And like Venus is the one that told her about um like that she trusted her enough to talk about Charlie, but like then she was like mm-hmm. kind of the mole to tell all the the boys or whatever. Or right, yeah. Um yeah, that was yeah. devastating. Yeah, I don't think she goes here personally. Um <laughs> Well, I just no. I just was I just was bringing her into the conversation. Yeah, I do think fine. that she is higher than Tevin for sure seven and i think charlie's above him as well mm-hmm. i think so yeah so tevin is that where we're going yeah i think yeah. so all right let's do it all right tevin at seven hmm. Tevin at seven at Whoa. several at several, <laughs> several. all right jolinski number one <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, he was Jelinski number one back, in one way. He wins the He's game. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, like totally. Edge of Extinction, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Incredible. There was a secret Edge this whole time. <gasps> for 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 uh, for season forty several. Oh Are my god! <laughs> <laughs> Next season he'll be back. <laughs> well, because they the literally named season. episode seven episode several. Did, Did they really? That? That's funny. No, no, that's, no, funny. Funny. that's I think funny. that's actually next episode, but like in like the TV right. I love that. that is so funny. 
they're cheeky oh something so i did totally forget i don't know if this is still a real alliance or not but tevin and hunter have that like what is it called the andy griffith show yes. alliance yeah um yeah. they haven't really like brought that back but i don't um, feel like hunter hunter doesn't who, seem like he's like playing with anybody besides himself to me is i how... think hunter is the next then the first of the strong people to go i think he's oh, way there's too no yeah. way that he doesn't that he makes it to the end they would he be can't. so stupid unless he unless he wins literally every challenge there's literally. no way hunter... but he does have an idol to back him up which is yeah. good i feel like hunter is like the jt archetype but they're trying mm, he to totally pass. is like, he's like yeah. a southern guy who like everyone likes he also looks a lot like the main character on a different cbs series called fire country that i really like because i secretly love network mm. television i certainly um, don't I, know what that is i do oh I'll, my god I'll, sorry i'm so sorry i did have to cut you off we're missing someone from the cast who's still in oh my god made the oh. she sheet it's Elspeth. Elspeth. The winner. <laughs> but she's won. We don't need to talk about Elspeth. Yeah, yeah. Put her, put, put her at one right now. Oh my god. Okay, I'm yeah, so obviously. sorry. We totally... Wait, we just... have Elspeth. Elspeth is Elf. here. El... <laughs> I can't... And, sorry. Yeah, she is on my team. Um... <laughs> you had an Elspeth. <laughs> yeah, I did have Elspeth. Yeah. And she's one through six. six yeah. So... <laughs> Well, it was great on this episode. I mean, she has had more screen time than I think a like Ben, ben has. Yeah. Yeah. Elspeth, 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 Tevin. <laughs> um, you know, why don't I just something else that I did why don't I just hear, um I heard like on Twitter or something, maybe it was like a I don't know what, but there was talk of naming the merge tribe Jelinski. Like they were, gonna oh name, yeah, they were going to oh name the first tribe Jelinski for some oh reason. Oh my god, that's you know what? This is why I don't even like to name the merge tribe because it's like, what are we yeah. doing here? Yeah, like it's that always has so no. Stupid. It's lit- Remember when they well, named just- the, the merge tribe America? Yeah, no, that was yeah, yeah. What that's when was I that? that's when I drew the line. Um, worlds apart, the one yeah, where yeah. it was like blue collar versus white collar yeah. versus no collar. Yeah. And it was a, a pretty insufferable group of people. Yeah, um, and they was, came it, together oh, at the merge. the one that that girl was on, Haley. Yes, that girl. Yeah. I always think worlds apart and one world are the same thing. They're yeah, not. I get them confused That's fair. also. That's fair. They're very different. One has so. a very slay winner <laughs> and the other one um, has a lot of uh, really toxic people. One winner is the queen of like Motherton. She's slay yeah forever. Slay, so, yes, yes. Like yes, are you like one of the most? Because I think that poverty is obviously the most mother winner, but I think that right. Kim Spring Wolf is the most slay. And you can quote me on that. Well, no, that's uh, fair. Until <laughs> Venus wins this season. Until Elsbeth wins. <laughs> until <laughs> Elsbeth wins. <laughs> places one through six on this season. <laughs> oh my Elspeth. goodness. Um. Well, I guess. I guess it's done now. Else yeah. it's, it's, oh, it's, I mean, <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. For real. For real. For real. Um. Uh-oh. Els. Elspeth is gone. I'm so sorry. sorry um, Elspeth. We're I'll back to being serious here. We're back to being serious. Um, this is such a serious podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <We're> very serious. <laughs> Next, I kind of feel like either Hunter or Q. If I'm being honest, because I feel like they're going to get yeah. taken out before the end. I agree. Yeah, I honestly, I feel like I'm fine with Hunter going next. To, I to just think honest. he's the most obvious I just, target. Yeah. yeah. And I love Hunter. I picked no, him first. Love him. Love him. But, so much he, he, and I said this baby at the girl. <laughs> he is so baby girl. Oh my god. He's so baby girl. <laughs> um, but I said this when we were drafting. I was just like, yeah. I love him. I, but I think he's he's just too perfect, yeah. and he's, he's even more perfect. perfect than I thought he was gonna be. Yep, you like quit being a doctor to be a teacher. Like Jesus, <laughs> he Let makes some... like twenty seven thousand dollars a year. He makes like no money because he yeah he lives and, in Mississippi or yeah, or, right? and he like yeah. yeah yeah he makes so little because they give him like a place to live on campus and stuff, and like he still spends his time and money like building these like. Ugh. the full survivor he's game. just okay, like a good level. person and we don't Ugh. need that here okay <laughs> and he's also amazing at swimming and basketball 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hunter, is that what we're doing? Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, yeah, so, so this is so this is Hunter. I have a, a photo comparison for the fire country. Yeah. This okay, is Hunter. Let, let me stop. Let me stop the share so we can maybe get. Oh. This I, is oh, Hunter. that. I was like, that looks just like him. <laughs> okay. This is yeah. Hunter. <laughs> And I was then, like, you're so right. <laughs> this is Max Thoreau who plays Bodhi on Fire Country. I've never even heard of the show. Oh, oh, yes. No, what's his that, name? Wait, Max, what's his name? His real Max name. Thoreau. Said his name. Max Thoreau. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, my God. Listen, I thought you were talking about the character's name. Um, wow. Bodhi is his name. Bodhi. I had a I had a poster of him on my wall when I was young. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's so weird. That was when what I was caught. He, do? he was in um he was in the pacifier. Um he he played the boy who just wanted to be in the sound of music. Um, but there was this like kind of fake out storyline where they were like, is he a Nazi? Um, but oh. he wasn't actually a Nazi, he was just playing one in the sound of music. In the sound of okay, music. Okay, okay. <laughs> classic oh, yeah. yes he was in like one of those like tiger beat like magazines as a poster and this is when i was cosplaying as like a straight girl um so i was like i love boys let me put this man who <laughs> i did again did i remember his name no the only reason i knew his name was max is because it was on the poster oh and like that like graphic design is yes, my fashion yes, font yes, yes. like on Mag. the side yes yeah. Thank you for bringing this man back into my life sorry i had to just excavate that from your brain no, that's um, he was you. also in Nancy Drew in 2007. God. I did yes. love that movie. This is important. Okay. Um, so Thank does that mean he stays he stays at six or he stays at six? Because <laughs> he looks like the the boy from I guess he is a man now from Fire, Fire Country. Country. Yeah. It's a, it's a good show. It's a very, you know, CBS like drama. So, you know, almost as good as Elle's Beth. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. One can so, only hope. So, winner be because Elle's Beth. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, Hunter's here. So, does that mean that we're doing Q next? Yeah. I think yeah. so. I could very much see a path for him um, because mm-hmm. he, I think he does have those, I think he has Tiff um very close to him and yeah. Tiff seems like a power player right now yeah yeah um, well tiff tiff could like well the thing with tiff is she has both kenzie and q and therefore she like kind of controls the purple tribe yeah. i feel like yeah i at agree the moment. so he's kind of like he kind of is giving like a charlie adjacent character right now to me mm-hmm. like whereas like he has tiff who's a more powerful player and charlie has maria who's a more powerful mm-hmm. player so I, but I yeah. think he I, is the more um, obvious person to take out. And and I think when people look at that duo, they're going to want to take out Q first because of yeah, just, like, the strength. And so I think that's going to be really great for Tiffany. Yeah. Okay. okay. So are we good with let's, that? Let's put, uh, what's his real name? Quintavious? Something like that? I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. His last so, name is tattooed right here. Bird, Birdette. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Out across his whole forearm. All right. Well, we um, it somehow. All right. Uh, so we are left with Kenzie. Uh, we still have Charlie, Tiffany, and Maria. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would. I say... think it's between Kenzie and Charlie. That's exactly uh, for what me, I was going to yeah. say. For me, Charlie goes at well. Huh, but if it goes to, is Charlie good at fire making, or do I just think that because he looks like a Boy Scout? He so does look like a Boy Scout. He, he gives does. me the he vibe like that an he Eagle would, Scout. He gives of me course. the vibe that he yeah, his, would have been practicing a lot with the fire. He had to like go on Twitter because someone like made a deep fake of him like sliding into their DMs. Oh yeah. And then he posted this like photo of his his girlfriend's name is Judy. I didn't know that. Sure. But he was like, "This is my beautiful girlfriend," and they were like smooching. And I was like, "Leave this man on. Leave him on." I yeah. will be right back, but keep talking. Oh, okay. he's gotta go. <laughs> All right, so let's talk shit about Zach now. Um, <laughs> no, but for real. Uh, so we got Charlie like me, and Kenzie. Charlie goes at four, like, and then like right before the, and it's an all women top three. 
Yeah, I think he just has less uh, control right now is where I'm at. What are your thoughts, yeah. Jess? Um, I don't, it's hard because I think he is, like, more likable than everybody right. left. But I don't think this group cares at all about that. No, I don't think I don't think, think this so. is, this is the I think cast. it's a detriment. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just thinking, because he's, like, really good at the social game. Uh, but I do think... Yeah, I think that I don't know. And if the and if he gets to the end, I feel like a lot of his moves, quote unquote, will be accredited to Maria. Yeah, I definitely don't think that he's higher than Maria. I don't um, know that. Yeah, he I mean, I'm move. fine. Like, right. I don't see him like by moving. himself. Yeah, I yeah. think he could have yeah. if he had kept Jem. <laughs> True. Yeah. Well, yeah, even but, just the way yeah. that he reacted when. He was walking with Tim, I think. And Tim was like, they were asking us for a name. They were asking us for a name. So it just ended up being Mariah. And he was like, okay. Like, it was like more of like a, like kind of like a passive play than being Mm. like, okay. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I think on a different season that does work really well though. Yeah. Like, I think the way that he's playing is really like slippery almost and like disarming. Yeah, I mean, if, I if if he can good. get to a point with the right people, I think that works. Like if a Ben is yeah. still there, you know, mm-hmm. um, if like a Hunter is still there, or but yeah. uh, or Tim, did he go to Harvard? Or uh, no. maybe he goes because I know he goes to college in Massachusetts. But I, I think don't he know might. I mean, he's a law student. He might be on Harvard Law. Maybe I'll look it up. I feel like they would have mentioned that. And I don't remember. They may have. I'm not sure. They love to name drop the Ivies. That's true. Any sort of accomplishment you will know about. Yeah. 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 All right. We had. We do have um, to make a decision. Yeah, though. we can do. Yeah, we can do Charlie. I I feel like okay. I'm kind of on a toss up with I, these last four anyway. So I I feel I I think I know who I want in every single position going forward. All oh, right. Yeah. Is okay. Is the next one Kenzie? Yes. Any objections? No. Okay. Let's let's put that in. And then it's between Tiffany and Maria. This is hard for me. Can I can I make an argument? Go ahead. This is what we're here for. Okay. <laughs> I think in my heart I want Maria to win. But factually she has the second least amount of confessional time out of mm-hmm. everybody in the entire mm-hmm. like that who's oh, at this point. And so for that reason, unless it's giving like an Erica at it, I don't think she's going to win just for that reason. Like maybe people realize how well connected she is and how well she's doing right at the end and she gets cut right at fire. Maybe she loses fire. But like that's kind of where I see. Yeah. Okay. Statistician. I, that was either I just pulled up the, the confessional tracker. off. From that's why you had to run. You were like, just <laughs> to yeah, that, that's why I left. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mark and Al. She's like, okay, paid social. <laughs> yeah. And that was, I, I, do was think... I was actually going to say this earlier. One more thing about Kenzie is that when they finally got fire on Yanu, she was the one who was kind of making it. So I wonder if she oh. is in fire. That was kind of foreshadowing. They love that. to foreshadow. Uh, they do. Fire they making. Do. Charlie's girlfriend kind of looks like Kenzie. <gasps> Whoa. Judy. I love that her name is Judy. Judy Pendergast. She he posted and she said my he said my number one ally and she commented on it. Wait until I blindside you. <laughs> <laughs> um I um yeah. I will say Ben had a fire moment also. Mm. A big fire moment. Okay. Yeah, I could see him getting to that point. Yeah. That makes sense. But again, yeah. like, is he gonna win? I don't know. No, no, I don't think I don't he know. wins even if he makes it to the end. Um, I'm a little conflicted. I think that Maria, to me, feels like the more likely to win. I think Tiffany's playing way more out there. Yeah, that it I, would be potentially more threatening. I think I kind of agree. But, but also, Maria is so like she's very like um, stoic, I guess, which I think maybe could potentially like send off like signals of like this person means business like we can't yeah. you know what I, mean? I don't think like, anyone is looking to... at her though no i don't and think i don't foresee that happening mom. yeah maria either. right yeah yeah. Like, yeah i think that it, it's interesting what they do with like a mother archetype on the show because they had julie and everyone was like mama julie mama julie mm-hmm. but like 
I think Maria is like I think Maria like yes she's a mother but I think that people just like look to her for guidance more than like Julie who was like yeah just a little bit of a different player anyway um I think if Maria makes it she'll like make it but I think if one person is like wow Maria's like playing really well then I think that she would kind of be an easy vote out yeah depending on how she fares the challenges yeah I personally like if oh what go ahead what <laughs> and i was just gonna ask wh- who who she thinks is on top between kenzie tiffany and maria yeah i think we gotta just make between... a decision no well, no kenzie's already agree. Kenzie. Yeah, Kenzie. yeah, Kenzie's yeah, Kenzie's agree. Agree. between tiffany and maria yeah yeah i think maria between okay. maria and tiffany and i think I that's think where that, you yeah, would yeah, all right. Also, yeah, Charlie, Charlie went to harvard undergrad and he's in boston okay. college for law school this is important thank you you're welcome yeah the hard thank you resident instagram stalker thank you (laughs) (laughs) all right so at two is tiffany and with the slight edge it seems like we're giving to maria well all i have to say is i have a high likelihood of winning this you sure do (laughs) wow um yeah you made some good choice you and zach um i'm so sorry frankie you know well sorry to, to us, zach but, but zach also has liz <laughs> so. and kenzie hey i hey. i said this privately and i will say it again that i'm like one of those cats in nursing homes that like lays down next to people <laughs> like that's how i picked my that's unfortunately how my team ended up shaking out because like i said i i could sense something but i just didn't mm. know what it was yeah and then no the that makes sense negative negative like bad sense to be fair i do think that um soda like even though she's low on here like i think she does have a good chance like it's not she's she's not dead in the water randon you know unfortunate happenstance and mariah i think she had a really good potential to do something but you know it was one of those mergatory like uh unfortunate downfalls um i i think that like i don't know i i just feel like I because like I maybe it's just I like I said not a big brother person but I I feel like Q is just like kind of running the game for some reason like they're yeah. making it seem like he's running the game and I think if one person like wakes up to that but right that's the issue is that I maybe they're trying to do it like I think we do a lot of like hi, like hypothesizing for survivor <laughs> yeah but I think that um excuse me he might get one of those runs where it's like they want him out but he keeps winning challenges yeah like a terry deets kind of deal yeah yeah but i also um i don't know i i I need to see hunter perform an an individual immunity challenge that has to do with like like we haven't seen any like endurance challenges out of these people Mm -hmm. which is basically what all of the individual challenges like a lot of the individual challenges are like i need to see them in like a a real like individual situation because right now it's kind of hard to be like like unglob them from each other so once the game hopefully becomes a little bit more individual then we'll have a better um idea of everything yeah yeah Yeah. i agree but uh this is this is our uh player ranking uh let me just zoom in here the fact that there's 12 people left and five of them are on Jess's team. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just so... And, like, the most of the top people are Jess's, too. Like, give me a yeah. break. <laughs> R.I.P. Hey, Not to but, me, to y'all. Hon- honestly, I feel like anyone besides maybe, like, Tim and Liz could win. Like, I could see a situation yeah. where every single person up on there does yeah. something to get themselves to win. Yeah, um, I think even Tim. Honestly, I think Liz is the yeah. only person I truly have counted out for winning. I but I we don't agree. know how Elsbeth is at making fire. Exactly. So oh. I mean, she can do it all. You've seen her. <laughs> I like. I like the little like <laughs> she ad. Goes like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the ad thing where it said Elizabeth, and then she's on like, the bottom, and she's like, "What? What's that doing there? Change that!" Uh-huh. Oh my god. I mean. And it's in like it's during like a really like serious moment yeah. like 
And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's an Elizabeth gag at the bottom yeah. of the screen. Right. Like they'll be talking about like my mom was really sick when I grew up, and it's like Elizabeth. Hey! <laughs> it's giving like it's giving like Nickelodeon like tactics yeah. where like mm-hmm. they would have to like catch the kids' attention to like stick around and watch like whatever was coming on next and they do like a boy kind of thing. <laughs> like <laughs> But wait, has anyone watched Elsbeth? My dad yeah. has and loves it. Okay, this is important. Thank you to your father. We need to maybe get him to tell us. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe we can next get a sponsorship for the next episode. <gasps> Elspeth. Yeah. I so I mean clearly they're desperate. <laughs> so <laughs> and but uh the cast of Elsbeth, Jane Krakowski is on it. Really? And what? so is um Okay, it is a good wife uh spinoff from what I understand. Someone it was like Jane Krakowski and I was like, who it was someone else that I was like, wait, they got them on this show? Let me I'm pulling Well, it up. is giving to me, I have to say, it's giving unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. That is like the vibe yeah, I'm getting from yeah, Elspeth. Yeah, yeah. It which I think is also percent partially... on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. Listen, I feel maybe like maybe it's... this needs to become an Elspeth recap Elspeth, yeah. podcast. I also think it's partially because Kimmy Schmidt and Elspeth have the same hair color for me. Mm, so I think that's okay. why and they're I'm in New York. That, but exactly. They're just and they're cookie girls in New York. They're cookie girls, girls in New York who don't know how the world works. It's, um... We we don't know if Elspeth doesn't know how the world works, let's be clear. No, I think she, she does know. anyone else. Is, Isn't she like a detective or something? She's well, an yeah, unconventional she's... attorney. Is okay. she's like an unsuspecting character, is like her like her. So she's like Charlie. <laughs> it's it's more of like um how i would compare it more to like my cousin Vinny. oh where it's okay like, like someone where it's like well they're not like they do the job but they're not like the best person but they're audit like, they're like differences do make them the best so is she like marissa tomei it. what is she marissa tomei no she's Vinny. oh she is Vinny. yeah okay i got yeah. it i got it Right, like someone who's not like technically trained in the field, but like their crazy, like abstract way of thinking makes them like see things other people wouldn't think to see, you know, like that's the vibe yeah. I get from the trailers. Yeah. All right. Well, that was Elspeth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, mid-season check-in. At the end of the season, we will do another check-in and hopefully um, someone uh maybe you and me frankie maybe we have like an, uh, an um, upset uh winner it only takes one to win it only takes yep. one to win well enviness yeah. is winning so <laughs> true exactly true, 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 true. so k's gonna k's gonna be taking the crown there yeah what, what's the prize well i know oh. that we had said we maybe they could determine the draft order next year okay um, I have a little, but i like I the have but idea I like the in mind of a, so. of a little like trophy oh what is it it's just a little trophy. Oh, just like oh, a, the concept of a trophy. Yeah, just like yeah. a little trophy. Yeah. Okay. And okay. loser has to watch Elspeth and tell us about it. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a really <laughs> okay. We have to watch the whole season and then like do like a what like a ten minute speech about like the ins and outs of Elspeth. Is that yeah? How about <laughs> how, how about the Elspeth? the loser has to make a bunch of teasers that will go in Survivor All In. It'll pop up as <laughs> Elspeth in the one blank. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> wow, who are we casting as Elspeth? The no, loser. we're we're getting Elspeth. Let's be clear. Getting, oh, we're yeah. getting oh, we're getting Elspeth. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean she's in New sure. York. We're here. Yeah. So true. We'll Let's we'll hunt her down. <laughs> I'm on the, the other on the person. Hunt. The other person who was in it that I couldn't believe they got was Jesse Tyler Ferguson. <laughs> But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. No, um, that makes but, perfect sense. But yeah, yeah, a good segue, Zach, is we are we do our own survivor here um and we have a, a season three happening soon which you have planned mm-hmm. and you are hosting yes. formerly yes. that was my position uh but, but now playing. now i'm playing as is jess in the game. frankie is also production so yes. um that'll be really fun if you're into that kind of thing and if not we'll see you for the finale recap And with that, the mams are signing off. Goodbye.